Hey, Abhishek here from Study Labs. I hope you become familiar with this table. This is your temperature table for saturated steam, where temperature is mentioned here and other values like pressure, specific volume, internal energy, enthalpy, entropy are written here. Now, if you have to find a specific entropy of saturated liquid when its temperature is 340 degrees Celsius, you will find it in SF column and in front of 340 degrees. That is here. If you have to find a specific enthalpy of saturated steam at the same temperature, you will find it here. If you want to find out what is the saturation pressure at 360 degrees Celsius, it is written in front of it in the pressure column. Remember one thing that sometimes in numerical pressure is given in megapascal or kilopascal, and if in your steam table the unit of pressure is in bar, you have to convert it. If the given units and the unit in the steam table is same, you don't have to change it. But if it is different, you have to convert megapascal or kilopascal to bar. We know one bar is equal to 10 to the power 5 pascal or 10 bar equal to 10 to the power 6 pascal which is equal to 1 megapascal. So to convert megapascal into bar, multiply pressure in megapascal by 10. For example, if you have to convert 2 megapascal pressure, you have to multiply 2 by 10 which is equal to 20 bar. 15 megapascal is equal to 150 bar and so on. So just make sure both the units are same or not. In some steam table you will find pressure in bar and in some it is given in megapascal. Now the second important thing in a steam table or even in Moller chart, interpolation. It is widely used and let's see why. In the steam table you can see that here 320 degree and 325 degree is given. So you can get properties at these temperature. But what if you have to find Hg at 323 degree Celsius? You have 320, you have 325 but you don't have 323 in the table. And you have to find values at it. Then the method of interpolation is used. Now suppose on the number line 323 is here. You have to take two values, one which is less than this, suppose 320 and one which is greater than this, suppose uh, 325. You can take 320 and 330 or 310 and 325. 323 must lies between those two values and the closer it is to 323, the better the value you will get. Your Hg becomes H3 and given temperature is T3. T1 is equal to 320, T2 is equal to 325. The value of Hg in front of 320 is your H1 which is equal to 2700.6 and similarly the value of Hg written in front of 325 degree Celsius is your H2 which is equal to 2684.3 and we have to find the value of H3 when T1, T2, T3, H1 and H2 are given. The formula is T1 minus T2 upon H1 minus H2 equal to T1 minus T3 upon H1 minus H3 or you can also write T2 minus T1 upon H2 minus H1. Now when you write here T1, it's also a T1 here. If you write T2 here, you have to start this with T2 and it becomes T2 minus T3 upon H2 minus H3. Or you can write its reciprocal H1 minus H2 upon T1 minus T2 is equal to H1 minus H3 upon T1 minus T3. Now putting values in this equation and on solving for H3, we get the value of H3 which is 2690.82 which lies between the values of specific enthalpies of 320 degree Celsius and 325 degree Celsius. If P and H are given, then we can write P1 minus P2 upon H1 minus H2 equal to P1 minus P3 upon H1 minus H3 in the similar fashion. If H and S is given then H1 minus H2 upon S1 minus S2 is equal to H1 minus H3 upon S1 minus S3 and similarly if S and T is given then S1 minus S2 upon T1 minus T2 must be equal to S1 minus S3 upon T1 minus T3. So remember the pattern and in this pattern you can interpolate between any two values. Share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel study labs for more. Thanks.